Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today we're going to show you how to change the wallpaper on an iPhone 14. This is a lovely purple one. Uh, and so this is actually two things. It's the home screen background as well as the lock screen background. And nowadays they're actually integrated with these widgets here as well. So it's gotten a little more complicated since I originally started doing these videos way back in the day. So you want to go to settings and you want to look for a wallpaper, which is this kind of turquoise flower. And now you can see basically what's currently set for the lock screen home screen. This is the default for the phone. And then you can add a new wallpaper. So let's try to add a new one. And now I can choose from my photos. I can do a collection of photos. I can make kind of a pattern out of emojis like that. I can have it be weather based and astronomy based. So we actually have kind of previews of that here. So you can see these ones are like dynamic. I guess it shows you exactly where the planets are um, at any given time, the phase of the moon, I guess that like shadow of the moon and the sun on the earth and then possibly the weather in here too. These ones are more weather based. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool. So it's like continually, continually changing and then also informative. There's the emoji ones. These are some of the collections. So this is the one that's the default, but there's other ones as well. And then you can just choose kind of some sets of colors, I'd call it. Uh, so let's just quickly go through a few of these. So let's show you when you pick a photo, so let's pick this photo I took of iPhone 14. And now I can set a bunch of things like I can change the font colors. It's actually like almost too complicated and you can kind of screw things up here if you pick some like really ugly colors and ugly fonts and ugly everything. So that's not super readable right now. Let's try to pick something else. But yeah, all I'm getting are these weird pastels. I guess I can't change everything. Um, and so I can add these different widgets and I can add a battery, let's see, battery status, let's do a small one, let's do a big one. I can add multiple widgets, I guess, um, and then we'll put calendar in here. And then we'll put uh, fitness, if you have an Apple Watch. Okay, so yeah, so I don't know what happens if you don't have an Apple Watch, I guess it doesn't do anything. Um, and then you can also scale the picture itself. So if I want to make my photo, like zoom in here just to get extra stuff, and then if you swipe, you can do different basically filters, um, which I don't know if, I guess that's okay. So yeah, so now if it's in there, you have some other options too. So some photos you can get the depth effect, which is like if you tilt the phone, it looks like it's kind of uh, not flat. And then you can also go back to your photo album here. So let's just add this. And now it asks me if I want to add it for both my wallpaper on the lock screen, as well as my background on the home screen. So let's set as wallpaper pair. And so now when I go back to the wallpaper section, this shows up. And uh, one more thing, it also says now on your uh, lock screen, you can adjust the wallpaper similar to what you do on an Apple Watch. So first of all, let's go back up here and see that. So now it's showing it out of focus here, I guess because the icons are here. Um, but let's go to the lock screen. And now wake it up and there's my photo. And I don't know now if there's, any, there's no depth on this one. So if you want to change the lock screen from the lock screen, uh, I guess you best way to do is to pull down and that would have your notifications and stuff. But now if I push, I can scale through, either add a new one or go to like that previous collection that I had before. So that should set it back to here. And now what happens if I open, it's actually changed both of them. So you can see this is a dynamic one. Like every time I unlock the phone, it moves slightly. And now if I unlock, and then this one moves a little bit as well. So yeah, so that's the basics. Uh, you can also, I think if you go to a specific photo, let, let's pick Captain America here. Um, I can set it as a wallpaper here as well. So let's do that. And it's the same kind of interface here. So let's pick Captain America. This one is a little bit strange because, okay, if I swipe, I can do that, but I have to use two fingers and pinch to move it and also to scale it. So if I just do this, it doesn't do a thing. If I do this, like if I want to scroll to the other side of the picture, it doesn't do it. I have to scroll with two open fingers, I guess is the best way to describe it. Like that. Okay, so let's just get Captain America out of the way. Now let's let's get him out of the way of the widgets and put... Okay, so I've moved Captain America out of the widgets way. Let's add a widget too, just for completeness. And so I don't know what that is. Foreign exchange and battery life. And uh, what else? Let's do one more. 
and the news feed. Oh, I gotta remove one. Okay, so now I have my widgets set and I just need to click done here. Okay, so anyway, let's just click done. And now set a wallpaper or customize home screen. So let's customize home screen. And in this case, I guess you can adjust that blur on there or you can pick a different picture. Let's see what happens now. So I can have it be not blurry or I can make it blurry. Yeah, I guess that's the main thing. And then I can, can I shift it here? I guess I can shift it here. Okay, now done and yeah so you can see that you can adjust the position and then also still make it blurry okay so let's have a not blurry woody and we'll go back here and so woody's here as i scroll this one's still blurry these ones aren't blurry and then now let's lock it and i don't know if captain america will still be there yeah captain america on the lock screen and then and then woody on the home screen Okay, so that's just the basics on setting the home screen wallpaper as well as the lock screen wallpaper and also set these widgets on the lock screen. Okay, that's it for today. See you guys next time. Bye. Hey everyone, welcome back to Hotex. Today we have a hot off the presses iPhone 13 Pro Max dual physical SIM Hong Kong version. And today I'm going to show you how to insert and remove.